Lighty badge, please. Hmm. Now it says here you're five foot two. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Sure. Stand up straight, please. Siri, is that really necessary? Just do my job, ma'am. We see each other every day. We do that thing where I take mints out of your tactical belt and you pretend not to notice. Hands to your side. Harry, we can't pull it. Here, today, together. My cousins. Honestly, knows no friends, ma'am. Everything seems to check out. Step on through. Do this again tomorrow, Harry? You betcha. Ah, another day, another mission accomplished. Oh, Agent 31, I'm glad you're here. We need to talk. What is it now? Diving into an active volcano? No. Jumping out of an airplane with 30,000 feet with no parachute? No. How about becoming the first human to orbit the Earth in a 1957 Jerry Red Chevy convertible with the top of it? No. Because I hate to break it to you, but I've already done it. That's extremely impressive. I remember the good old days when I used to be at Agent 31. That brings back memories. I remember being chased down the aisle by bears, floating across the platform. Oh, I love the good old days. But actually, this is a more pressing matter. Now, I know you're not going to like this. And I don't like being on your bad side because I know how hostile you can get. And I don't want you to retaliate by, like, uh, spreading rumors about me again. Oh, you mean the one about you sneaking out the ball being Josie Cinderella on the <coughs> Did you tell everyone that? Oh, the fact you named your pet chihuahua bird smell. Okay, now you're just lashing out because that last one's actually true. And I told you that in confidence. Let's get to the fact of the matter. You're getting a partner. What? A partner. No, I was promised when I was selected for the agency, I'd always work alone. No, 31, I think you're going to like this guy. I don't want to hear it. He's a good kid. He's super strong. Well, he's not too strong. <laughs> he's smart. Ish. He's, well, he's got, a, he's got a, a great smile, a great personality. He makes a killer. Hawaiian chicken. And when, best of all, when I told him he was going to be working with the age of 31, he was just beside himself. Cartwheeling, just happy go lucky. Well, if he's so great, then where is he? He's late on his first day. You don't really know. Next! <sighs> Good morning, sir. ID badge, please. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. First day on the job, huh? Man, isn't that obvious? Now, since here that you're six foot ten, is that correct? <laughs> yep, since birth. <laughs> All right, everything seems to check out. Stay on. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll look into that. Gary, you're on road duty. 
um, was okay with the idea of that. Actually, so I was meaning to talk to you about the missions. I've been thinking about bringing in Agent 316 as backup. What do you think? Oh, Mrs. I don't want a partner. I don't want anyone I want to work alone. I'm going to go with the... Uh, no. <laughs> Pardon me, boss man. I don't mean to interrupt and with the tension over here. Uh, but these numbers were just in my mind. Three, one, and six. And I was wondering, do we possibly, maybe, have an eight, three, sixteen that could tag along with us as some backup to guard my six? You know what? I kind of like the way you think, rookie. In fact, I'm going to upgrade you to a level two. Thank you so much, sir. Keep those ideas coming. <laughs> what if we use jetpacks? Um, what do you think of 238? What if we use jetpacks? Brilliant! Brilliant! Oh, this kid's a genius. Oh, oh, yeah, we do it. One picture, one picture. The honor's all mine. And because you show a lot of promise, I would actually like you to have this badge here. Keep those ideas coming. Am I speaking Canadian here, eh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say something, 31? Actually, I... Oh, never mind. Back to the mission. You need to... You're going to need your gadgets for this mission. Report to PU immediately. He's just down the hall and to the right. Man, this metal is really heavy. <laughs> Oh, I told, I, I was told some agents would be coming in today. I'm working on some gadgets. Let me bring and pretend. Get that to some gadgets. Oh, I love you. Anywho, I haven't slept like, like three months. That's <laughs> okay. I got this. Same as always, P.U. So, uh, if I may ask, why do they call you Professor P.U.? Well, it's... It's a name that runs in the family. That's who I see. That's something else, Professor. What are you talking about? I'm normal! Anyway, let me finish this. They just come out of the oven! I got some gauges that just come out of the oven! You're gonna love these! Gadgets are hot, I tell you! Check this one out. This first one, whenever you run into a problem that is so bright outside that you don't know what to do, I mean bright, I mean bright, like bright, bright, bright! When it's bright outside, I invented these light reflectors. Oh my goodness. Aren't those the best? Turn it on, let's see how these bad boys work. Look at that! Doesn't it work awesome? Wait a second. These are Walmart brand sunglasses. But that preposterous! Anywho, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, here we go. When you're in a room and you need to make a quick getaway, I got the perfect gadget. It's right here. You just apply pressure and everyone in the room busts down into a fit of giggles! Man, I love these things. <laughs> You can't hold it. Motion. 
Jesus, so I thought naturally I should go with foam float. No. <laughs> it appears you guys have got the hang of these gadgets. I'm gonna need that badge back. After all, here are your boarding passes. Your flight leaves at 0800. I suggest you be prepared. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. <laughs> Professor P.U. Yes! Can I help you, sir? Can you lay off the chemicals, please? Okay, okay, sir. Whatever you say, sir. All right, let's adjust the whole thing. We've got it all right. Put your hands down. <laughs>